Nigel, the tiny wizard, riding atop his dark horse steed. He's Nigel, the tiny wizard. He'll help anyone in need. Hello. Yes, mate, hello. I'm looking to do an extension on my cave. And all I need is something to blow the back wall of my cave out, that's all. Splendid. I'll have that one, please. Quite dangerous, though, friend. Oh, Nigel, he's not dead. He's in shock from the trauma and blood loss. He'll be fine. I love you, chocolate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I just love watching TV more than anything. And the TV's broken. Can you use your television magic to fix it? Nigel, television magic is not to be trifled with. <laughs> Are you all right, Nigel, friend? <laughs> Rather gigantic. <laughs> Behind you, I'm, I'm inside the TV. <laughs> All right, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you both. You've made my life complete. I love you, chocolate. We can't understand you, hairy friend. A gargantuan hairball. <laughs> Careful on my precious back, Nigel. <laughs> oh, much, much, much better. Thank you, chaps. Oh, now my throat feels just silky, silky smooth. Mmm, swallow that spit with ease. Now I can go back to treading the balls in my role at the hairy opera. La da dee, la da do, la da dum. <laughs> Smashing his tiny face into the ground by the looks of it, Nigel. I am the mayor of Wormtown, and we're sick of being walked all over. Literally! So I want to summon a powerful demon to protect us. But I can't make the summoning work! <laughs> Ultimate power will be ours! Ultimate power! <laughs> Sorry, lads. I'm just a minion. What? I'm mostly doing gardening to evil over the water. Oh, the one there is a loser, a loser. Losers forever a million years. <laughs> you would do that for a little worm, may you? Sure, yes, I'll help. Hang on, Nigel. Demonic gardens are made of lava. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Help me, lads. What's the matter with you, Stump? Oh, my tale is one of tragedy and woe. I live me whole life as a grand, majestic tree. But 15 minutes ago, an absolute anus of a goblin came along and shot the whole top me whole tree head off. And he says he's coming back to finish the job. He's gonna kill me. So you're gonna get me out here, lads. I need to be free. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 no! That that were an evil stump. Yeah, yeah. yeah look look at him. Oh. <laughs> and, and now you've given him feet, he's going to be even more of a nightmare. Look at him, he's flicking a chaffinch in the head with his big toe. Stop it, you twat! 
How do we stop this timber menace? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to chop his bastard feet off. No! <laughs> oh, the agony of a dying apple. <laughs> Some gigantic bastard tried to eat me. Me, an apple. Have you ever heard of anything so absurd? Now I need your help. <laughs> I want you to help me find the beast that tried to murder me so I can murder him back. Right. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea, Nigel. Quickly, I'm dying. <laughs> Yes, the murderer! That's a horse. Toss me at him. I'm gonna eat him to death with my big gnashing apple teeth. <laughs> Prepare to die, you equestrian shit! Oh, fuck. It's movie night, and you know what that means. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. Please peruse the items. Ha ha ha. I'm being held hostage by a cockney hobbit. Aye, aye, I'm a cockney hobbit. What's it to ya? Stop slapping the crisps. Oh, he's hitting our crispy tummies. I'm committing crimes. Hey, hey. I don't think slapping crisps is a crime. Uh, oh, no, he's flinging wafer thin ham at that old woman's face. I don't mind. She loves it. These aren't great crimes. Oh, fine, you got me. I'm not a real criminal. I'm just a wannabe little criminal. All I wanted was to feel big for once in my life. Uh. Careful not to dream too big, though, friend. No, Nigel. He's just had a traumatic brain injury. He'll be fine, probably. Nature, marry me. This is the only creature known to walk on its eyeballs. Let's check the aerial. Here, some blobby bastard is nibbling on my cables. Can you tell him to shit off, please? Hi there, my name's Blob Squatly. I've been stuck on your roof for four and a half years. <laughs> I spent the first four years and five months screaming, but no one came to help. Sorry. That's okay, I'm fine with this, I think. I ended up here because I wanted to be a famous TV star, so I paid a large bird to fly me to the television studios, but he just dropped me on this roof because he thought it was funny. There he is. <laughs> He's probably a nice bird, really. Is that a camera? I'm famous. Um, Little does the blob know, he has entered the hunting grounds of the psychotic panther. I'll change the channel. I don't think you're supposed to stare at the sun at all, Nigel. Help! My gorgeous hunky boyfriend's done himself a mischief. He used to be this six foot tall, muscle bound man banquet. Now he's a twiglet. I taste burning. He looked into a jam jar of insanity. It's over there on the condiment shelf next to the Nutella. <laughs> Shut down me hunkiness. <laughs> I'm finally free of the condiment shelf. Away with me. Oh, I'm gonna be like this forever now. Don't worry, friend. Love is about what's on the inside. You're right. Kiss me, my love. I definitely will. Just a sec. Oh, she loves me for who I am on the inside, not my crusty exterior. She's run off with the Nutella, hasn't she? Yes. Bollocks. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hi. Ah. My name's Cram Twatley. I'm the owner of Cram Twatley Swampside Coffee House. What seems to be the problem, Cram? I just want to provide flat whites and a nice swampy atmosphere to the locals, but I keep getting harassed by a bog witch in a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps giving out head massages and it's very off-putting when you're trying to enjoy a coffee and a pan of chocolat. Have you tried asking her to stop? Oh, I'm too afraid of confrontation. <laughs> what do you want? Just stop rubbing everyone's heads, would ya? Oh, I'm just so jealous of all your smooth heads. Mine's all knobbly-bobbly. <laughs> Nice. Now, where are we and who am I? Nigel.
Nigel. Did you remove some of her brain? Oh, I bet your head's nice to rub. Ah, oh, bollocking <laughs> bastards. I love the view from a hot air balloon taxi. <laughs> Come on down to Frank's Flail. There'll be blood on your hands. We guarantee it. We're almost at the supermarket, Nigel. We can wander around and grab some snacks. Oh, what a bloody luxury to wander around a supermarket and grab some snacks like that just casually and all that. I haven't left this hot air balloon in 35 years. The taxi company forbids it. I'm contractually obligated to occupy this hot air balloon at all times. Oh, I'll be only wishes to feel the grass between my toesies again. <laughs> Orlando's right outside the supermarket. Wait, I can't go lower. His massively long legs are stopping him from descending. <laughs> it's hard to keep me balance up here. Hey, move out of the way, you silly bastard. I can't. Well, I'm not moving for you, you land-based git. <laughs> <laughs> There's some meaty bastard down this well. My name's Quimble Norris. I'm a flesh disc. And my perfectly round body means I got stuck in this well. Shall we pull you up, Quimble? No, silly. I want to go down. Deeper. What? This well is the only way in or out of the most exclusive nightclub in town. And I want to get my groove on. I don't hear any music. You lot should come down here. It's great fun. Ooh, ooh. This flesh disc is having the time of his life. Ah! Did you say that well is the only way in or out? Yeah. And how long were you stuck in there? Only five or six decades. I think you might have trapped everyone inside the nightclub, Quimble. <laughs> don't be a party pooper. These are my new best friends. <laughs> He doesn't seem great. I still don't know why you would want to go on a sightseeing tour of the sewers, Nigel. <laughs> okay, everybody, our tour begins here on your right with a massive pile of shit. <laughs> what are you doing in the sewer water, Hobgoblin? Oh, I was out on the lash with a conjurer last night. He started doing a bit of magic on me, you know, like a conjurer does. And he ended up giving me this, a rat neck. Oh, bugger me. <laughs> oh, what have you Nigel, I think you did the spell backwards. <laughs> Just as the prophecy foretold, my liege, the god of all rats has revealed himself to us. Command the water rats to bring him to Rat City. Tonight, we feast on the flesh of a god. Now that the rat boy is finally out of the way, I'll continue my tour. Up ahead, you will see a massive pile of shit. <laughs> I'd watch that. I'm choking the pelican to death. Why? Because I'm Graham. You know, Graham. No. I'm known around here for having the biggest mouth. It's, it's like my thing. And look at his massive mouth. I still can't breathe. How can I compete with that? He has to die. Obviously, yes. <laughs> oh, you absolute twat. <laughs> as big as it'll go. I'm not sure that's a great idea, Graham. I said as big as it'll go. <laughs> Oh, my shitting bastards. That's the sound of gigantic expanding lips. Run! Well, well, well. I love it! <laughs> we should turn back! <laughs> Colonel Colonel's Popcorn Emporium. <laughs> Customer, we haven't heard one of those in years. Maybe it's because your shop is at the top of a mountain. <laughs> How good can this popcorn really be? That is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. How do you do that? My secret is the popcorn is alive. What? We're doomed by our deliciousness. I even forced one of them to grow into a full-sized child. Say hello, clump. I shouldn't be alive. Well, now you know my secret. You can never leave. Clump, seize them. No, father. This is where it ends. <laughs> oh, if only I had the core strength to attack you. <laughs> be free, my 
my popcorn, people. Oh. What have you done to yourself, Nigel? <laughs> old, old bastard! What happened, you aged raisin? <laughs> I'm here to show you the top ten slaughterhouses of the year. <laughs> I know you're not the best at undoing your spells, but can you at least try, Nigel? Foot! Foot bastard! I think we need professional help. Who dares to stab the beer charm and trunk not win? I'm Marmalade the dog horse, and this is Nigel, the foot. He wanted a beard, and now he can't turn himself back. My beard channels the follicle gods of the underworld. They are the ones that will determine the true facial hair your friend deserves. Ugh. Beards aren't for everyone, my friend. Can you get rid of it, Trunk? <coughs> Don't you be uttering the pirate word aloud, me boy. They have a tendency to appear. Ah, bollocks! Hobbit pirates of the port bow! I'm drunk with not fought, and I'm gonna pirate the shit out of you, Lord! <coughs> Oh, a nice wooden banister. Shame if someone was to blink all over it. Are you really a pirate? What do you mean? I've got a parrot. I'm a parrot. See? Oh, you blew me hand off. And if you don't want to lose the other, I suggest you kindly get off my bollocking boat, you bowl cut bastard. Hang on, mate. Wait, I'm just a pirate in training. I'm not a real pirate yet. He's not even a real parrot. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm a pigeon. <laughs> Oh, yes, please! <laughs> I guess he'll finish his pirate training in Davy Jones' locker! <laughs> no, that means he's dead. Nigel, I think you upset those flower people by stealing their chocolate. You bastards! <laughs> At least we were able to make a quick escape by commandeering this four-legged flesh table. I think we're in the clear. You can stop the table now, Nigel. <laughs> I don't mean to alarm you, Nigel, but our leggy table is running towards the edge of a cliff. I'm currently wetting myself. Ah. You did it, Nigel. You gave the table skin flap wings. What am I? You're a flying meat table. What do I do? It says... I should kill! Kill as many things as possible! Uh, don't do that! Come on, fellas! We're going murdering! <laughs> Quickly, Nigel! The gnome boxing is starting! Uh, okay, gnomes, it's time to wrap your gloves and bar the fire! <laughs> Those gnomes can really take a beating! And gnome fight! <laughs> ah! There appears to be a tiny man watering our television. Your television? This is my house! I bought it this morning for a fiver! <laughs> Hi there, I'm Brett Knee Flab. Can I interest you in a proper thing? L look, you can't just sell our TV as a house. <laughs> Stop talking, please! I can sell your TV because... <laughs> please don't evict me! The housing market for us one-inch people is a nightmare! If only I was ten inches tall! The ten-inch housing market is way more forgiving! Oh, <laughs> Smaller than that. Treat yourself to a sentient sausage. They love being eaten. Eat me! Boo-hoo! Sad noises. My sausage business is failing. But your sentient sausages look delicious. That's not the problem. It's that the sausages keep getting eaten before they get here. Giant hungry sack over there! Oh, another delivery lost to that sack! Why do you 
keep eating this poor bloke's sausages, you sack. I'm not eating them, actually. I'm saving them and taking them to my master, the Sausage King. We have finally amassed enough sentient sausages to form an army and launch an attack on our greatest foe, the Sausage Shack. Charge! There appears to be a tsunami of sausages heading our way, Nigel. <laughs> Oh, that was just a paid sausage actor. They hate it. Death to Sausage Jack. I love riding on a giant mole. <laughs> oh, I do beg your pardon, everybody. I'm very easily startled. Excuse me, I'm Tunneling Andrew. I'm a lifelong undergrounder. I thought like that is par for the course for someone like me. Thank you very much. Sorry, we didn't mean to offend you. No, no, look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit tired because I'm tunneling my way home from the shops. It's about a half a mile journey and it's taken me about, what, oh, three weeks so far? Well, it's quite hard going when you're only digging with a trowel. Oh, if only I had mole hands instead of these flesh nubs. Oh, I'll examine that. Oh, little <laughs> Shovel fingers. Oh, they even dig without me trying. Look. Careful where you aim those things, tunneling Andrew. <laughs> I'll just grab his shopping and be off. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Don't worry, Nigel. He'll just keep digging until he reaches the bottom of the ground. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure those birds are enjoying it. Move out the way, you bodiless bastards! Yeah, we're trying to migrate too, you know. What a nice summer's evening watching the heads float by. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I've never been good at floating. This is my first migration. I knew I'd mess up. I'm such an anus. <laughs> Nigel, I'm not sure that's a good... Uh... Oh, yes, please. Fill my skull with steamy hot air. Mm. It's working. I'm floating. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's it. I'm done with these hovering atrocities. Come on, lads. Let's peck them in the scalp until they move out the way. Taste beef, you twat. <laughs> Nigel, your eye. <laughs> it's grotesquely bulbous. What happened? <laughs> Cooking with portals. Now that you've got your meat cake batter in a tin, it's time to open up a portal to the flames of the underworld. Simply say, Muruktama. Resist those evil winds that try to suck you in. As we just pop the cake in here for 20 to 25 minutes to bake and infuse with demonic goodness. Mmm, spicy. Muruktama. <laughs> So your eye got pulled from its socket by demonic winds that tried to suck you into a hell portal that you opened in order to bake a cake. <laughs> Nigel, I think you need emergency medical attention. <laughs> wow, okay, that is pretty good cake. <laughs> Bloody hell! What's so funny, bird? <laughs> Some silly little woodland bastard caught in a trap over here! <laughs> Uh, hi, my name's Kevin. Some mean, terrible villagers came along and caught me in this nasty trap. You must help me bust out of here before they come back and beat me with their bludgeoning instruments, which I know they will do. I know it. Oh, look at me with my big arm. Off I go. <laughs> oh, no, I finally had that orange twat in my trap. Why would you trap an innocent fox? Are you having a bleeding laugh? That right there is a demon fox. He uses our rubbish for his evil spells, he does. L look, he's making a tentacle come out of that Pringles can. <laughs> stop it, Kevin. You're scaring me mother. I don't like Pringles. How do we stop this muscular menace? <laughs> Get in, mother. Nobody uses crisps to scare me. Come on then, lads. Let's all help mother beat Kevin to death. What? <laughs> Nigel, can I please take this gigantic wig off? <laughs> This is a cake heist. I didn't agree to a <laughs> I'm the tastiest cake, that's me. Maybe it's the one singing about being the tastiest cake. <laughs> 
Well, I don't see why not. <laughs> I thought you said we could have a slice of you. I didn't know you would hurt like a bastard. He does? I don't want to get eaten. Oh, you have to help me escape. Climb aboard, Cake. <laughs> oh, it's me, the Duke. I'm a fancy boy. Oh, and delivered cake. Thanks. Well, we tried. <laughs> Hurry, Nigel, the cinema's just on the other side of the pond there. <laughs> it's the one that had that amazing TV advert. Do you like excessive gore? Yes. <laughs> Do you like being scared out of your tiny little mind? Yes. <laughs> then you'll love the new film from horror maestro Sludge McIntyre. Help, I'm scared and covered in blood. The movie. We just need to hop across those lily pads and we'll be there just in time for the movie. Halt! I am Nibbles the Frog Guardian, keeper of this pond, you cannot pass! We could just walk around you. Don't do that, please! Guys, what are you doing? Stop it! Oh, I'm a useless guardian! Useless Nibbles! Useless idiot! <laughs> you would help little Nibbles with his security issues! <laughs> Oh, thank you! Hey, Nibbles! I'm back from the shop! <laughs> How's the gardening coming along, Nigel? <laughs> What's a yeba plant? <laughs> ah! Nigel, I don't think these are yeba seeds. <sighs> Who would want to grow eyeballs? They're grotesque and unsettling. <laughs> Did you read these instructions, Nigel? <coughs> Do not plant more than three eyeballs in close proximity to each other. Failure to follow this will result in the eyeballs fusing into one sentient entity. They really should put that in bold. <coughs> well, let me see now here. I think I'd quite like to uh, blink. Yes, blink on everything. Come here, you. <laughs> Oh, you dirty bastard! You got eyeball juice all over me plumage! Come here, old man! Oh dear, I'm not really a fan of being blinked on! Next time, let's stick to growing carrots. Is that a vulture eating a cyclist in our front garden? <laughs> Poor fellow! He's dead! Undead, actually! Ah! I was riding along when that vulture started pecking me and knocked me off my bike! You're a naughty little bastard! Did you know that? I eat dead things! I'm a literal vulture! Oh, and I was in the lead of the annual undead bike race! <laughs> Come on down to the annual undead bike race! When you witness this display of post-life athleticism, your jaw will be on the floor, literally. But now I'm so far behind the other riders, I'll never catch up. Boo-hoo, sad cyclist. <laughs> Look at those bulging boils. Those new legs will be pretty powerful, friend. Take care when you set off. Will do. Can I eat him now? Fine. <laughs> The gigantic boulder lift is truly a test of this gnome's strength. Oh, and his arms are off. I wish I had biceps like those hunky gnomes. I only have these nubs. I wanted to have biceps, Nigel, not be a bicep. Who? All right, you absolute goblin. Hold that right there until I get back. But it's so heavy! Oh, shut your filthy mouth, would ya? I just need to speak to these customers. Hello, me dear Musclewitch here. How can I help? <laughs> Muscle magic is highly illegal, my friends. I don't practice that anymore. <laughs> Look at me, Nigel. I'm a buff boy. What about you, little wizard? <laughs> Look at the muscular definition on that forehead. <laughs> what potion would you like, friend? Have you got any acid? <laughs> yeah, just, just some straight-up flesh-dissolving acid. Why do you want flesh-dissolving acid? <laughs> No reason! <laughs> no suspicious reason, friends! <laughs> nothing! Is this nothing? Don't look! He's trying to kill me! You have a sentient hand? 
Yes, and he's a pain in the ass. Please let me dissolve him and get this over with. You can't just kill a sentient being because it's annoying. Why am I lemon that? Yes, release me from my limb prison. I'm free, free at last. What are you going to do with your newfound freedom, sentient hand? I'm going stabbing. What? <laughs> Nigel, has there always been a tiny door in that tree? Step aside, you bastards! I'm Trim Lipley, and I'm going on my first adventure! <laughs> well, I'm not entirely sure, actually. All I know is that every adventure starts by firing the adventurer's pistol. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yes, it does! <laughs> Bang! You killed my bird wife, you colossal twat! Oh, no! Help me! <laughs> Nigel, you just turned us into a bird-shaped meat lump. We still can't fly. No, I've never been this high up before! Well, you'll be back on the ground soon, you tree-dwelling anus! <laughs> if we can get underneath him, we can use our meaty body as a flesh cushion. <laughs> Well, I think that's quite enough adventure for me. And if I know anything, it's that every adventure ends by firing the adventurer's pistol. Oh, bollocks. The guide says this rock formation is a must-see. Would you like me to pose? No, Nigel, there appears to be something living in its nostril. I am a flesh tube. People come here every day to take photos of me because I'm famous! I don't think they're here for you, flesh friend. I think they're taking pictures of this rock formation. Seriously? <laughs> You've ruined my life! I'm going to kill you both! <laughs> Are you okay, flesh log? In the wild, us flesh tubes just have to roll where the wind blows us. We have no control over what direction we go in life. I'm just upset because I thought I was special. <laughs> oh, wow, I can do anything I like now. I'm going to go and buy an iced latte. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Walkies, doggy, walkies! What seems to be the problem, friend? I just got this dog and he doesn't do anything I tell him to. I don't think that's a dog. From that local animal rescue shelter. That's an underworld animal rescue shelter. Come on down to the underworld animal rescue shelter, where we take creatures from the realms below and train them up to be good-hearted overworld pet friends. I just don't know what he wants. Oh, I wish I could just ask him. Speak to me, Trevor. Speak to Daddy. I'm just a little homesick. I wish I could go for walkies on the flaming brimstone plains of the underworld. Look, Daddy. Can we please go for walkies in the underworld? Sorry, am I going to die if I go in there? Um... We... <laughs> This riverboat is the quickest way to the popcorn festival. Why have we stopped, boat? That big bastard missed up there is shivering me timber. A big meaty protrusion seems to have erupted from the mist. Why are you lot hanging around my mist and looking at me? I don't like it. Go away, please. Why so touchy, big face? Look, the reason I'm hidden in this mist is because whenever I've shown my true self to anyone, they've always screamed and run away in fear. <laughs> you shouldn't live your life based on what other people think of you, mist creature. You're right. I should be myself. I'm Christopher, god of disease, and I don't care who knows it. Sorry, god of what? I'm off to go spread the plague. Whee! Don't worry, Nigel. It's probably just a mild plague. Shall we carry on to the festival? Hello, Nigel and Marmalade. Won't you join me for a spot of tea? Yes. Oh, you know me, Nigel. I've been off thieving again. What did you steal this time, Patricia? Uh, just this little old thing. <laughs> from that night over there. She bested me in combat, bested me with her blade. <laughs>
Oh, that's a lovely cup, eh? Patricia, you can't just go around stabbing people. It's very rude. But I enjoy doing it. <laughs> we have to apply pressure to the wound. <laughs> that's done the trick. I'm now bleeding out slightly less than before. No hard feelings, Patricia. Besides, you never got your hands on my amulet of brain rot. Oh, that is a very nice looking amulet. No! I can't wait to spend a day at the fun fair. Come on, kids, come scoop up a handful of chocolate. Do oh, hey, care for a balloon, me boys? Step aside, fun fair balloon seller. We're on a chocolate quest. Oh, don't be a boring shit. Here. I'm a cute boy. I appear to be rising into the air, Nigel. <laughs> Joke's on you. I don't even work here. No, I'm a prank wizard, and you have been officially a wizard pranked. <laughs> I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> The balloon seller's going to burst. Bollocks. I love you, vat of melted chocolate. I'm gonna shoot you, you big shit. What's going on here? My honor has been besmirched by the most gruesome bastard I ever did lay my eyes upon. Hello, Nigel and Marmalade. Patricia, what did you do to our cow friend here? I was enjoying a frosty cowboy milkshake when she came over and started flicking my Adam's apple. It's irresistibly flickable. Well, I'm very self-conscious about it, and I demand a duel. Draw! I'm gonna take, I've forgotten how to fire it. Your neck lump is majestic. Own that bulbous throat ball. You're right. From now on, I'm gonna hold my head up high. Patricia, bingo, I got there in the end. Now, who fancies a nice post-shootout cup of tea? Uh -oh. Go on, then. <laughs> This beaver bastard here keeps singing about some old bollocks. I am a beaver, but not a real beaver, for I cannot chop down this tree. But no one must know, to my grave it will go, that my teeth are all soft and floppy. Hello, beaver. Shit! Did you hear me singing about having floppy teeth? My secret shame! If you don't want anyone to know about your flaccid teeth, maybe you shouldn't be singing about it. Beavers are supposed to have tough teeth. Biting down on trees is kind of our thing. You should try accepting yourself for who you are. Oh, but that sounds like really tough introspective work. Yes, the easy way out. I want the biggest teeth you can give me. I love it. How do I get down? Um... <laughs> What's the next step in the recipe, Nigel? <laughs> Cooking with portals! Now it's time to give our meat lump that flame grilled taste by opening a portal to the underworld. Maruktama! We don't want that portal open for too long now. We don't know what could come crawling back through. Close up, you close! Nothing like a crispy crust on your flame grilled meat lump. <laughs> All right, Nigel, I think it's done. <laughs> we appear to have a large opening to hell in our kitchen floor, Nigel. I am Grunt Drumlock. Prepare for an eternal rain of fire and death. Would you like to join us for a meat lump supper, Grunt? Oh, well, yes, that sounds quite nice, actually. <laughs> meat lump. Woo. <laughs> Is this the right direction, Nigel? It seems a little out of the way for a burger van. Do you like meat? Well, why not traverse the deadly mountain path of Morak Thronk and get your mucky little hands on the juicy 
Gisberger, this side of the Dwittle Sea. Our van is located just beyond the stone bridge that crosses the bottomless ice gorge. Come on, Marilyn. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Hang on a minute, please. What is it, troll? You're, you're, I'm Blapwood Crunkle. This is my bridge. How do we cross it, Blapwood? You must beat me in a thumb wall. His thumb is bigger than your whole body. Uh, looks fine to me. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. He's not dead, Nigel. That's a bottomless gorge. He'll just keep falling forever. Now let's go home and order a takeaway.